More than 20 million Americans suffer from autoimmune diseases. The numbers keep rising and no one seems to know why, but a group of international studies may have found one answer. Dr. David Hafler is one of the lead authors. He chairs the Department of Neurology at the Yale School of Medicine. Welcome. Thank Let me you, see if sir. I understand this. It, too much salt increases the risk of getting autoimmune diseases. Well, we're not entirely sure of that, but we do know that if you put mammals or mice on the high salt diet, it induces a great degree of inflammation, much more than we ever would have expected. So it's not a cause, but it, it's a risk factor. Well, autoimmune disease uh, are a group of diseases where the immune cells attack self. If they attack the joint, it's rheumatoid arthritis. Right. Attack the brain, it's multiple sclerosis. Uh, these immune cells get rambunctious, overactive. Uh, they're fundamentally one group of diseases uh, attacking different organs. We know they're genetically mediated. But the question is, what is the environmental cause that triggers it? Uh, we know that uh, smoking can be an environmental cause, that uh, being overweight, but what was unexpected was the degree to which salt can actually induce inflammation. All right, so how much salt increases your risk? We don't really know. We know we can extrapolate from mice, but we're now doing experiments uh, in humans to determine exactly how much salt. But we do know that from other studies that salt is not good for you. And you say, in fact, processed foods, which have a lot of salt in them, right? Well, processed food, it's not just what you add uh, to, uh, to your food, but the great degree of salt that's in processed food makes, uh, probably makes a big difference. Do yeah. Western diets have a lot more salt than diets from other parts of the world, say Asia, say Africa, say Latin America, say... Well, I, I think the whole Western world does live in a higher salt diet. But uh, we don't think that salt is the only factor. There are clearly other factors. Like? Uh, well, for, for example, uh, smoking we know well, is a factor yeah, right. and the genetics and such. Uh, but it, it was unexpected to the degree to which salt can induce inflammation in the experimental models. So that's really the finding here. You, were, you didn't... Uh, it was unexpected that salt would have this kind of effect to this degree. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. And do you think that's the cause then of these autoimmune diseases? Oh, I don't think we can say that, but yeah. it is clearly appears to be one factor. One more reason to limit the salt intake. Right? How does an immunologist get to be chairman of the Yale Department of Neurology? Well, I've, I've spent my career studying multiple sclerosis. Okay, yeah. that explains it. Thank you, sir. Yes. Thank you.